All right. In this video, I want to talk about how the church doesn't save you. You're not saved by being part of the church. And this may not make sense to you because the church is saved, right? So you would say, yeah, if I'm part of the church, then I'm saved, right? You're looking at everything backwards here. You're thinking, oh, this is the church. If I go and I become part of this church, I'm saved. No, that's not how it works at all. You see, you're saved by Jesus Christ and what he did. He lived the perfect life you couldn't live. And then he offers that life to you so that perfect life can be given to you as if it's your perfect life. So that you can accept God's judgment of you where he condemns you to death and hell. And if you accept his judgment of you and that there's nothing you could do to save yourself, you give your life to Jesus at the cross. He gives you his life. So there's a trade there. And that's how you're saved. You die through Jesus Christ and are reborn and recreated in the resurrected Jesus Christ. And then you can go through the way, the truth, and the life, the only way on of the Father, Jesus Christ. Right? And once you have done that, you are automatically part of the church. You didn't have to go to some building. You didn't have to go get water baptized. You didn't have to be written on some ledger. You didn't have to go through some confirmation. You didn't have to jump through any flaming hoops. No, Jesus did it all for you. He saved you. And when you have accepted his salvation, you're part of the church. The church isn't a group of people that are part of a organization, whether it's like the Roman Catholic Church, where it's a state religion, as it's both a kingdom and a religion, at Vatican State there, where they have a king and a head of their church in the Pope there, right? It's not about being part of a 501c3 organization, a part of this whole thing where they have your name written down here on earth by men. None of that matters, right? You can go be part of all those groups and be confirmed and baptized by them and all that, and they tell you you're good to go. doesn't matter. That doesn't mean you're part of the church. The only way to be part of the church is to go through the door. Not the door you see here on building here in the picture, but through Jesus Christ, who is the door. And nobody comes in except through him. So you have to go through him, and the only way you go through him is if you die. You die with him, being crucified with him 2,000 years ago, and then you're recreated and born again in his resurrection, baptized by the Holy Spirit, sealed with his Holy Spirit, and made one spirit with him. That's when you're part of the church, that's when you're saved. The church can't save you. All the church can do is do what I just did and tell you the gospel to point you to Jesus Christ. That's all we can do. There's nothing else we can do to save you. There's nothing else any church can do to save you except to point you to the Savior, Jesus Christ, and to tell you about him. That's it. That's all the church can do. And it's all up to you to have your personal relationship with God and to humble yourself to accept his condemnation of you for your sins for your selfishness, your self-righteousness, your pride and arrogance, for your desire to sin, knowing that you're not fit for heaven, that you need to be changed, and the only way you can be changed is through death. But of course, God doesn't want you to die, so he's died for you, because he would rather die than live without you. And if you can accept his condemnation, and you can believe and trust in his actual love for you, his patience and his mercy and grace for you. That's where you're saved. But you have to have this go on in your heart. You have to truly see this and accept it, believe it, understand it, and call on Jesus right now for his mercy, for his grace, for his salvation. And that's that. You're saved. You're part of the church. Your name is written in heaven by God. That's the ledger you want to be part of, the only ledger that matters. You could be part of 
the Roman Catholic Church written on their ledger, or the Orthodox, or the Baptist, or the Calvinist, or the Seventh day Adventist, or the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Presbyterians, and the Pentecostals, or the Methodists. It doesn't matter because you're not saved by being part of any one of those groups. You're saved going through Jesus Christ. And there's people such as in China who have accepted Jesus Christ, but they're not part of any denomination. And those fellas, those ladies, they're saved because of Jesus Christ, not because of any church. So that being said, thanks for watching. Take care.